if it's an anaconda. <laughs> King Cobra. <laughs> All right, let's see what well, let's see what kind of snake uh, Bobo is back in here. If he's a garter snake, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get torn up right now. Oh man, that was such a good bait. Yeah, so this matchup is gonna be very interesting because Fox is one of the best zone breakers in the game. The way that he can rush people down, the way that also lasers can, you know, force approaches in the you know in the right situation means that he is going to be getting in. He is going to be doing a ton of damage once he does. But, you know, Bobo's neutral and Snake's neutral in general. Between that and Punish game, if a single mistake from Coffee Bug is going to seriously cost him. Like that, he's dead. He's gone. He's done. Yeah. The, the, the biggest problem with, with this matchup is that Fox is so damn light, man. Like, I think just... Snake is uh, Snake is so strong in terms of like kill pressure, and then Fox is light. So even though you're zone breaking, if you're taking a little too much percent, you're really gonna get hard punished for it. Yeah, and against Snake, pretty much every character ends up trading against yeah. Snake. It's it's like a default like passive that he's just has equipped at all times, and you will take damage while comboing him. I, I think the thing is though, is I think that what people take for granted is that you need to go for a lot of grabs against Snake. I, I think. It's, it's one, you have to go for grabs, and two, you need to actually be comfortable like picking up his grenade. Yeah, well, the, one of the things about pick, grabbing Snake is that's really good about it is that oftentimes he'll pull a grenade and just shield, holding yeah. that grenade. And if you attack that shield, that grenade will blow up in your yeah. face and he will convert off of it. But if you grab him, you grab, it might be a little bit tricky, but you can time your throw invincibility to uh, not get actually hit by it. And he killed them pretty early. You, you also need to, the, the thing about it is, it's not only the throw invincibility, you need to know. Like, you can't pummel. Uh, you also need to know, like, some people's throw animation have, like, a melee hit in it, which will make the bomb go go off. But also, a lot of characters, the melee hit, they're invincible. They're intangible, correct? I think it depends on, on the, the throw. But, yeah, no, this is this is the situation I'm looking at. I'm looking at, like, even if he's making, like, strides to, to zone break, he's... It's just, it's, it's a losing game after, like, he has a lead. He's just gonna... You're gonna trade, and you're too light to be uh, taking these trades. Yeah. Up till starts to kill too early. The, yeah. Despite being a fast faller, you know, kind of helps him out a little bit with vertical survivability. He's still gonna be dying kind of criminally early to those like between the C4 and the up tilt. Up tilt up there. You, yeah. Look you at don't this. really want to take any of the like. Wow. I think he jumped off ledge. That was interesting. I think he was expecting him to not up be high, so a good mix-up from Coffee Bug. But nonetheless, look at the mountain that he has to climb here. He's gonna get nowhere near the uh, even the first step yeah, of that journey the because prob the problem with this is there's so like like Fox obviously like he has a lot of speed, a lot of like he has a lot of speed, a lot of like range to get in. Um, like a lot of, by range, I mean like uh, burst window to get in. So he can get in from like decently far away while Snake's trying to set up. But the problem is. Is that once you get in, you take a, uh, a grenade trade, and you're trying to fight your way back in, you're probably going to take a few more trades. Like, like you almost have to like get in cleanly and not take a trade, and then try to battle back in. When you battle back in, that's when you start to take like grenade into grenade, and now you're getting back aired. Yeah, and I mean the other really big thing about it is the edge guarding. It felt like Coffee Bug did clean it up by the end. He wasn't dying quite the same way, but I mean, one time you wind up off stage and get sniped by Nikita, that's all it takes. That's the sort of thing where now all of a sudden Bobo has a massive lead, and what do you do against Snake when he has a massive lead? That was that was rough there. So like, he, like foxes like want to shark the platform, and and Coffee shark the platform got got the first like 60% on, on Bobo with like some up tilt up air stuff on the platform. The second time he went to up, oh my god, I'm still gonna take it. The second time he went to go up up air the platform while Bobo was on it, he pulled grenade. Oh, he He's pulled fine. grenade, got down tilt, and then up tilt. I love that. You notice he put the grenade down and then shielded in front of it. He wasn't even holding it, but it was the same idea of trying to bait him. And watch out for that C4 on the top platform. Yeah. I was wondering if he's looking for a setup into the C4. Like, if you air dodge back, he gets C4. And this is, back air, man. Yeah, this is the same thing we saw in that last game. Three stocks to one. And Coffee Bug was nowhere close to making uh, the comeback happen. So as it stands, Bobo is looking in a super comfortable position. Back, you're gonna take it. Same actually way he took the last stock. I think the only two stocks he's taken have been with back air. Um, 
but I don't think there's that much Bobo has to be worried about. Well, we'll see. Coffee Bug, this is his chance to make a statement. If he manages to sort of, uh, you know, crack Bobo open, which I don't know. <laughs> it seems like he's the one who's getting cracked right now. Oh, that forward smash! No, it was a forward smash. Oh, that I was Sidebeat. Yeah, 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 that was Sidebeat. Yeah. Which was probably meant it was a missing point. Oh, Smash was actually so close to taking that. Yeah. Oh, up smash, not enough to do it. Nah, it was a sour spot. It was the reverse hit. If it was real up smash, up smash it oh, yeah, 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 forever yeah, yeah. I like that he's waiting and understanding that even though Snake, like, oh. That is so good. Okay, so the fact that he was throwing out back air after back air after back air, conditioning Bobo, trying to get him in order to go low to the ground, and as soon as he did that, he was there for the up smash. That was... Oh, what? What? He had a grenade. Oh, but the grenade actually helped him recover no. into Snake's up. <laughs> into Snake's up. No, I, that was actually a really good play in that second game. I, I, think, I think he was starting to adjust, but I think a lot of the problem is, is that...